Yes, in this video, we are going to see about the Karnoff maps. Why we go for Karnoff map? Already, you know, Boolean algebra. Okay, so why we do Boolean algebra? Why we walk out the Boolean algebra? In order to reduce the variable, we, uh, the given equation will be, uh, 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 what we are going to do in, why we are substituting the Boolean algebra in the given equation is, to reduce the variables, okay. So for that we have so many uh, algebra, Boolean algebras. So in the given equation, we we substitute those uh, laws and then we try to reduce the uh, equation. Why we go for reducing of equations? While reducing the equation, we will be able to reduce the variables as well as we will be able to uh, reduce the size of the circuit which we are going to design. If unreduced equation, if we take unreduced equation and draw the logic circuit, it will be a bigger one. Then, then when we apply the Boolean algebra, the size of the equation is reduced. And, and if we draw the logic circuit for the reduced equation, it will be uh, the size of the logic circuit itself is very small. So this will matter when you are going to design complex systems and very big uh, which has a lot of logic. When you are going to design a system which has a lot of logic and complexity. So in which case, when you try to reduce the equations uh, and try to reduce the logic circuit, which will give the same output of the unreduced equation, then it will be a better design. So that is why we go for reduction of variable and reduction of equation. So Karnap, already we have seen Boolean algebra. Karnap map is another one through which we can reduce the variables and the equation. Now, before going through, just uh, I'm going to give a small, already you have seen a reduction of uh, equations using the Boolean laws. But anyway, this is by giving a simple example, then we'll go for Karnap map. So the number of variables in a Boolean expression can be reduced, which will result in the reduction of number of gates, of course. When we have in the place of where you need four and and gates, you may need only one and gate or two and gates. That itself is a reduction. Why I'm saying is, see, this is a small equation. In this, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven and gates and one or gate. Together you can add. So seven and gate and one or gate plus the not gates. How many not gates we need for each of this? When you reduce all these things, you will be getting the equation of the step where you need one, two, then yes, two AND gates, and then two OR gates, and then two NOT gates. Whereas here you need more. So now if you see this equation, uh, this is nothing but um, sum of products. That is, so you have to write a min term for this. If it is three, you know how to write 0, 0, 1, 1. And when you write it in terms of variables, A bar, B bar, C, D. So likewise, you will write for 7, 11, up to 50. So now you have to add all these things. These are all min terms. When you add all these things, you have sum of product. This is what has been written here. So now what you have to do is you have to apply the Boolean laws in order to reduce it to get this. So how you will be applying this? If you see here, um, C, D. C D is common in these first three terms. Okay, you can go through the, all the terms. Wherever the C D is common, you can bring out. Even here is also the C D is common. But anyway, we'll see that. Here in this equation, first three is taken. A bar B bar, A bar B, and A B bar, and C D is taken outside. Now, if you say this here in these all the four terms, A B is common. So A B is taken outside, C bar D bar, C bar D, C D bar, and C D. Now uh, when you take these two within that, uh, after CD, then you can take A bar common, B bar plus B plus A B bar. B bar plus B is one, so substitute that. Now you will get this. Same way here, you can take C bar outside, D bar D plus D. Here C, you can take D bar plus D. So this is one, this is one, substitute that. So now you have C bar plus C, which is again become one. So you have A B. If you see this, you have a bar C D and then A B bar C D. Now, um, 
again uh, the same thing has been written here and this is what we are getting finally so this again using a distributive law you can write like this this you can write like this a plus a bar so even if when you write like this it will not give you any error because a plus a bar is one and then a bar plus b you write like this then you uh, expand this finally you will be getting when you reduce you will be getting this answer when you do this okay now see the difference this consists just needs seven and gate and one or gate and one two three four five six seven eight not gate whereas here two not gate two and gate and two or gate that's all so that much we have reduced the same for the same we have drawn the logic circuit see how what is the difference how big it is and how small it is so this is how you uh, that is why we go for the reduction of variables and reduction of the logic circuit so coming to our point why we go for Karnoff map and loss of protein algebra already know in order to minimize the expression with there are uh, actually we have two methods one is using tabular method another one is using loss of protein algebra in tablet method there are two types one is Karnoff map and another one is prime implicant okay now we'll see the first already we have seen boolean algebra now we, we in this video we are going to see the Karnoff map so what is a Karnoff map you can write a Karnoff map like this when there are two variables so for example a and b two variables you can draw like this so this will give four combinations already we know for two variables we have four combinations uh, let me see here See, when you have two variables, okay, that is two power two. So when I say two variables, I'm talking about this power. So two power two is, you have four combinations. So zero, 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 one. This is equal to zero. This is equal, numerical value is one. And for two, you write it as one and zero. And for three, you write it as one and one. So four combination, one, two, three, four. That is what we are saying as four combination. With the two variables, A and B, we have four combinations. Okay, so here we have uh, how we can write a two variable combinations like this. So zero, zero, that's what we have. Then zero, one, then one, zero, and one, one. So when I say zero, zero, the numerical value is zero. When I say zero, one, the numerical value is one. One, zero, the numerical value is two. One, one is numerical value is three. So these are all the positions which you are going to uh, fill up. So you can uh, write the combinations like this and the respective numerical, the the respective cell which represent the respective numerical value is 0, 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so this side A and this side for B variables. This is for a two variable map. Then for a three variable map, this side A and this side BC. You can take it as A this side and BC this side also, but this will be, uh, it will be like this. That is two here and four this side, vertical side. So now we'll see this a this side and b c this side so what is the combination as we have seen b c 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 it is not 1 0 and 1 1 because after 0 1 only one variable has to change so if you see this 0 0 after this only one variable this 0 is changed to 1 that is allowed but when you see if you Next, if you write one zero, which is equal and numeral equivalent of two, because this is zero, this is one. So naturally two and three has to come. But if you do that, what happened? Two variables will change. So for example, one to zero and zero to one. Two variables are changing at a time. That is not allowed. So what we do is after this, we make this one to change. So now it is three. Then again, when we change this one to zero, here only one value is 
changes. Okay, so here zero and one. Now, uh, when you see the respective position, so if you see that uh, numerical, respective numerical value, it is zero, 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 it is zero, 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 one, one, and zero, one, zero, it is two. So you have to skip this. You have to write the respective numerical value here, two, and then three here, zero, one, one, three. Same way here, one, zero, zero, four, one, zero, one, five, the next one is this, one, one, zero is six, and then one, triple one, that is seven. So uh, here also while uh, writing the respective numerical position, you should be careful, zero, one, two, and three, four, five, six, and seven. This is because here we have written like this, okay? This is how you write a three variable. How you are going to fill up the data that we will see, first you know, how to write a code, three variable coronal map and a two variable coronal map. Now, the next one is four variable coronal map. So in this case, here you will be having AB, here you will represent CD. So here two, uh, four combinations and here four comes to totally 16. If you see here, three variables, so two power three is eight. So that is why we have eight cells, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Here, two power four is 16, so you have 16 cells, okay, four by four matrix. So now how you will write the same way how we have written, zero, 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 one, 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 zero, same way, zero, 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 one, 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 and one, zero. This is strictly because at a time only one variable change is allowed. So if you see this, here there is no change, but here we change. Then when you see this, here we change. So you have to check, you should not write the same thing here. You have to write the leftover combinations, okay. So now when you write the respective numerical position, when you try to point out the numerical position, it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then you will have to leave this. Like how we have skipped this. So this row itself, then 6, after uh, 6 and 7, here it is, you have to write 8, 9, then 10, 11, then 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so like this, you have to represent the four variable map. If you write here, we have written 0 and 1. If you try to represent it using the variable itself, it is nothing but A bar A. It is nothing but 0 and 1, B bar B. Here A bar A, B bar C bar. See here, B bar C bar, B bar C, B C, and B C bar. Here the same thing, C bar D bar, C bar D, C D, and C D bar. Okay, now we'll see the drawing of corner map in the next video.